Dun 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 dun. Wakey woo reads the Bible. A uh, gospel chapter twenty one. Um, when we had taken leave of them, we had set sail, made straight a run for cause, and on the next day for Rhodes, and from there, from there to Patera. Finding a ship crossing to Phoenicia, we went on board and put out to sea. We caught sight of Cyprus, but we caught sight of Cyprus, but passed it on our left and sailed on towards Syria and put in at Tyre, where the ship was to unload cargo. Then we sought out then we sought out the disciples and stayed for a week. We kept telling Paul through the Spirit not to embark for Jerusalem. No, they kept they, they kept telling Paul through the Spirit not to, to embark for Jerusalem. At the end of our stay we left and resumed our journey. All of them, women and children included, escorted us out of the city after kneeling on the beach to pray. We bade farewell, farewell to one another, then we boarded the ship, and they returned home. We continued the voyage and came to Tyre, on to Palamas, and we greeted the brothers and stayed a day with them. On the next day, we resumed the trip and came to Caesarea, where we where we went to the house of Philip, the evangelist was one of the seven and stayed with him. He had four virgin daughters gifted with prophecy. We had been there several days when the prophet named Agabus came down from Judea. We came up, he came up to us, took Paul's belt, bowed his own feet and, and hands with it and said, thus, thus say the Holy Spirit, uh, this is the way the Jews will find the owner of the belt in Jerusalem, and they will hand him over to the Gentiles. When he heard this, we and the local residents begged him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul replied, What are you doing, weeping and breaking my heart? I am prepared not only to be bound, but to die even to, even to die in Jerusalem in the name of the Lord Jesus. Since he would not be dissuaded, we, we let the matter rest, saying, The Lord the Lord's will be done. The Lord's will will be the Lord's will will be done. After the after these days we made preparations for our journey. We went up to Jerusalem. Some of the disciples from Caesarea came along to de to lead us to the house of Manasson, a Cypriot a disciple of long standing with whom we were to stay. When we reached Jerusalem, the brothers welcomed us warmly. The next day, Paul accompanied us on a visit to James, and all were presbyters, all the pres and all the presbyters were present. He greeted them, proceeded he greeted them, then proceeded to tell them in detail what God had accomplished among the Gentiles through his ministry. They praised God when they heard it, but they said to him, Brother, you see how many thousands of believers there are from among the Jews? They are all zealous observers of the law. They have been informed that you are teaching all Jews who live among, all, who live among the Gentiles to abandon Moses, and that you are telling them not to circumcise their children or to observe their customary practices. What is to be done? They will surely hear that you have arrived. So what do you what so what do we tell you? We have four men who have taken a vow. Take these men and purify yourself with them, and pay their expenses, that they may have their heads shaved. In this way, everyone will know that there is nothing to the reports that have been given about, about you, but that you yourself live in observance of the law. As for the Gentiles who have come to believe, who, who, who come to believe, 
we have sent we have sent them our decision that they abstain from meat sacrificed to idols from blood from the meat of strangled animals and from unlawful marriage so paul took the men uh spot the men on on the day after purifying himself together with them entered the temple to give notice of the day when the purification would be completed and the offering made to made for each of them when the seven days when the seven days were nearly completed the jews from the province of asia noticed him in the temple stirring up the wrong crowd and stirring up the whole crowd and laid hands upon him on him shouting fellow israelites help us this is the man who is teaching everyone everywhere against the people teaching everyone everywhere against the people and the law and this place what is more what is and what is more he has even brought greeks into the temple and defiled this sacred space for they had as previous they had previously seen thrumpus in the Ephesian in the city with them and suppose for paul that brought him and suppose that paul brought him into the temple the whole city was in turmoil with people rushing together they seized paul and dragged him out of the temple and immediately the gates were closed they were trying to kill him a report reached the cohort commander that all of Jerusalem was rioting. He immediately took soldiers and centurions and charged down on them. When they saw the commander and the soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. The two the cohort commander came forward, arrested him, and ordered him to be secured with two chains. He tried he tried to find out who he might be and what he had done. Some in the mob shouted one thing, uh, others shouted something else. So he was unable to ascertain the truth because of the uproar. Because of the uproar, he ordered Paul to be brought into the compound. When he reached the steps, he was carried by the soldiers because of the violence of the mob. Carried by the soldiers because of the violence of the mob. For a crowd of people followed and shouted, away with him! Just as Paul was about to be taken into the compound, he said to the cohort commander, May I say something to you? He replied, Do you speak Greek? Uh, so then you are not the Egyptian who started a revolt some time ago. I led the four thousand and led for and led the four thousand assassins into the desert? Paul answered, I am a Jew of Tarsus in Sicilia, a citizen of no mean city. I said, I request you permit me to speak to the people. When he had given his permission, Paul stood on the steps and motioned with his hand, motioned with his hand, his hand, to the people. And when they were all quiet, he addressed them in Hebrew. Okay, that's a chapter, uh, chapter, so Paul. Well, uh, went back to Jerusalem for Passover or whatever, um, however it is, and he got caught. Uh, he and he started to preach about Jesus, and they beat him up, and uh, and then the Romans thought he was some kind of a lead, another another um, uh, rebel commander or something like that from a different. From, uh, he can't use them or a different rebel commander, and so now Paul is uh, protected by protected and is addressing the crowd. Uh, in Jerusalem, perhaps the very last time, and you know, speaking against the law of Moses because you know it's the law of Jesus and all these other uh, things, um, preaching the, the, the gospel, um, uh, preaching the gospel of uh, Christianity. Okay, we're coming up to a five ten minute mark, so we're on now on chapter twenty two. Um, thank you for watching our show, and have yourselves a wonderful time. I hope I'm going more slower for one. I hope I hope that my little uh, karaoke uh, 1950s karaoke bar, which is going to appear as a little yellow circle, will kind of uh, um, you know do 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 kind of bar. Anyways, ten minutes is up. So thank you for watching our show. Have yourselves a lovely evening.